Um, PhilHealth is a corporation that, that should manage a social, socialized health insurance. What do you mean by socialized health insurance? It should provide medical services to all the population who are sick, elderly, uh, patients, uh, persons with disabilities, and especially the indigents. And we wanted to achieve a greater coverage for the entire population with a minimum package of health benefits. So in the end, it's a community spirit. Yes, because sometimes we hear na bakit kami hindi naman kasali dyan, bakit yung iba kasali. You should look at it as a pool. Actually, it's a pool for the population. So how do we achieve these guiding principles? So today, I think you started early on about membership principles of um, the benefits, the collections. And later on, you'll be they, they will explain the no balance billing. What is the no balance billing? Actually, we have a policy for the indigents. There are two policies for the indigents, which is the no balance billing and the primary care benefits. What are these? When an indigent enters the hospital, they should not pay. And this is offered to government hospitals. When you say government hospitals, these are the DOH hospitals, DOH retained hospitals, and the local government units hospitals. They are required not to charge an indigent more than what they should pay. And we offer the primary care packages for them. Ito ho yung sinabi na in their lifetime, they can see a doctor. So we monitor rural health units, empower them to give free checkups, including a complete blood test, urinalysis, chest x-ray, um, pap smear, no? Yeah, a pap smear. Para naman po, in their lifetime, nakakita naman sila ng doktor at nag nagpa-check up rin sila. And I think prevention is far better than curing. So that was the mainstay of the no balance billing and the primary care benefits. And these primary care benefits was started with the indigent. Right now, we are studying to offer it, to offer it to formal members. Hindi pa ho, hindi pa nag-umpisa, but we are already thinking to offer it to formal members, but with a possible copay. Yung para magbayad lang ng extra, covered rin ito. Second, we also have what we call the all case rate. So, ngayon lahat pakiyawan na. So, kung sino man magkasakit, alam nila na kung pumasok sila sa ospital, mababawas itong amount because members sila. That's why we did the all case rates to empower members to know that they can deduct this amount for their illness. Kasi noon, ang dami hindi mag-uospital kasi wala silang cash, wala silang ibang bayad sa ospital. But right now, they already have an idea that ito mapawas. And then, we also have what you call the Z benefits, which is the catastrophic. The reason why this was placed was that uh, the, the real thing is Anyone who gets sick, maski anong kakayaman, mauubos eh. Di ba in the end, uutang ka para lang maggumaling. So this C package benefit was planned and rolled out. Uh, bear in mind, we always made it a point 
inuna namin ng indigent people. Kasi sila, wala nang tatakbuhan eh. Yun na yung buhay nila eh. Where will they make utang? Where will they get money? So, yun ang primary. And if you notice, PhilHealth has always rolled out benefits first for them. I hope you understand why. It's the reason na wala na silang power eh. Ubus na ubus na sila. But, For the formal members, don't feel bad. We also are thinking of you. That's why the Z package, meron rin co-pay. Diba? You can avail of the Z package. Magdagdag ka lang. So the Z package for the poor, if it is a bypass surgery, 500,000 paid for. Everything is paid for. Kung sa formal members naman, pwede magsingil ang hospital, 1 million, 500 babayaran ng PhilHealth. 500 na lang babayaran mo. But, not necessarily ubusin mo yung 1 million. You can haggle in the hospital. Pwede maging 750, so 250 na lang. So what we are trying to do is empower members to use health services. So now, enjoy your lunch and then if you have more questions later on, 